everybody. I'd like to show you a little hack today. Um, we know, like, if we like to blend our paints and so forth, with um, we know that these you pay ten bucks or so, give or take, for two. And if you don't get them on special, that is. And all you get is two sponge daubers. Well, you know, a lot of us may not be able to get one for each color because maybe we're just not in that situation. I'm going to show you a little hack that you can do. Now, you can buy these that you get 20 for $10. Okay? Those are the refills. Oh, this is what you need to do. If you're not a sewer, if you are, you have tons of these spools at your disposal. These are all type of spools that I have that because I've been sewing forever in a song and some were for my grandmother and so forth. These are little dollar store. Uh, I think you had four, I'm not quite sure. But these came in a little sewing kit that you could bring with you. I mean the thread's not bad, but I mean I wouldn't I'd never sew a garment with it really depending on it to work. That's me. But the point being is that if you have, if you don't have any spools at all, you can buy these at the dollar store. And all you need to do is, and you can have as many as you want, because all you need to do is take a little piece of Velcro. You will chop up, this you can get at the dollar store, and you might, I have some because I sew, but you may even have some uh, at the dollar store that is round already and already full of adhesive. But I would definitely use my glue gun and add a little bit of glue from the glue gun onto the top here. Because, oops, I put the wrong thing on. Because, I'll tell you what, if you don't, what's going to happen is um, I don't believe that the other stuff will be strong enough to hold your Velcro in place when you take your... Um, your velcro off. So I have made one before. All I did was take some velcro. Now I, this is my two-sided velcro but it um, I just added a couple like like this. Now no. I would glue this too. Make sure that this fits properly on there. If you can tell I'll bring in the camera a little closer here. If you can tell, see how I've overlapped it a little bit, but that's okay. You don't have to. This particular one, I did not overlap it, as you can tell. And it fits perfectly on there. And that's right, there was four because that's the other one. And all I did was take my scissors, cut off the little pieces on the side here that I won't be needing. I used to have the bulk, I mean, like to have something. But you can take the th threads off of these too if you wanted to. We'll leave the threads on and, and when you add a, um, a sponge dauber on it, you know, you could use the color red and then you'll know by the thread color what color your ink is. But it still works, you know, I added a little bit of uh, glue on there. And I'll tell you, you know, economically, it's, it, it's going to do the same thing. You just won't have the look of the long handle. But if you're a handle person that you need to have a handle, get a little dowel. Stick it in the back. There you have my little stick. See? And that'll work the same as this. It's all up to you. And on a previous video, I had showed you how I store mine, like this, by color, with a dab on the back, with a tab. These will do the same thing. You can definitely store all these in your little lipstick case that you can get at the dollar, dollar, dollar store. Let me show you how well how well it works and it's it's a very economical hack and you can really use them with any thread now you can use a small spool but as long as you're you want to be able to fit your your dauber pretty much all the way around like for an instance a lot of these are are handy today that they would still work you know as a dauber but i don't know if i would go really really small like I have some that are small I didn't take them out actually when I was looking but um, 
you know, make sure that this fits comfortably around it because other than that, it's not going to work properly. So let me show you how it would work versus a one of Tim Holtz. So I'm going to just, this is the, I'm just using random of the Distress Oxide. Perfect. Wouldn't you agree? Now, let me take, I'm going to take this one off. I'll put this one off, put this one on here and see what it does on this one here. And I bet you it's going to cover exactly the same way. Oop. Yeah. There's no difference, really. And this is with a Tim Holtz Ranger, I should say, handle. So the point of this is if you don't have a glue gun, not to worry. You just add your glue all the way around, make sure that it's tight, and then you add your Velcro onto the side, and you have yourself a sponger dauber. Now, if you don't have a glue gun, don't worry about it. Get some E6000, you can get those pretty much anywhere, small tubes, I think you can even get it at the dollar store and add that. That will never come off. If you're afraid that it might come off with your glue gun, don't be afraid. Just add E2000. It'll work like a charm. So this is just a short video to show you a hack. Don't worry about having to buy these at $10 for two when you have a whole bunch of colors that you want to... It's just for speed, making things better. Just get some dowels. Maybe at the craft store you can get these in wood too because I know they use them for crafts and so forth. But economically it works better. Now I don't need the stick on it. I just as well do it like this because it works fine. But you can tell. You can touch and change and and uh, it works perfectly. So this is my little tip of the day for you guys. And never be afraid to ask. If you have any questions about anything at all, I'm always there for you guys. And um, I'll be back with another tutorial real soon. Have a great day, guys. But most importantly, be happy. This is Yvonne, and I'm signing off for now.